This refined mashup is my homage to the legendary dish of meringue, cream and fruit created at Eton College. I'm going to get started on the meringue, the Eton mess element of this dessert. Like every meringue, it starts life as egg whites. Turn on the mixer. So I've got 100 grams of caster sugar. And I'm going to add that one spoon at a time. What you don't want to do is throw all that sugar in, because what it'll do is it deflate the egg whites. Whisk until you get stiff peaks. And that is perfect for meringues. Here's a clever little trick that turns ordinary meringues into works of art. Paint lines of food colouring along the inside of the piping bag. It's always lovely to take something that's really simple and decorate it so that when you turn up with a dessert, it just makes people's jaws drop. So to get these, squeeze gently and then lift quickly. What can get more satisfying than that? While my meringues dry out in a cool oven for one hour, I can get on with the cheesecake base. The one thing that inspires me to bake a cheesecake is when I have five biscuits from five different packets, broken biscuits, whatever biscuits you've got at the bottom of your tin. Combine your crushed up biscuits with melted butter and then carefully shape them into a loose bottom cake tin. Take your time, start with the base and then work your way up the sides. Set it in the fridge for 15 minutes. Ample time to make the cheesecake filling. First of all, I take double cream and icing sugar and whisk it up. Soft peaks. Perfect. Add a tablespoon of vanilla bean paste and mix in lashings of cream cheese. We're making a dessert and it's a decadent one at that. So do not skimp on anything. Full fat will taste better. Pour all of that in. This might be a lick the bowl kind of day. Fold in a generous helping of chopped freeze-dried strawberries. And this is when a vanilla cheesecake gets fancy. These ziggy little nuggets of fruitiness will give my filling an enticing burst of flavor as well as color. Now let's get that filling in. Once my biscuit base is loaded with all that scrumptious filling, it goes back in the fridge. After an hour, my striking, stripy meringues are ready. Look at those. And by the time they're fully cooled, my cheesecake is set for decorating. I think the strawberry cheesecake, as it is, is beautiful. But it's about the little elements that you put together that make it a little bit spectacular and really put a smile on someone's face. First, I'm topping it with a strawberry coulis made from fruit, icing sugar and lemon juice. It adds a lovely freshness to the top of the cheesecake. Next, some chocolate dipped strawberries. I've melted some white chocolate and dropped a couple of drops of dark chocolate in, rippled it with a little fork and then dipped them in. So simple, but so effective. And for my final flourish, my candy-striped mini meringues and some freeze-dried strawberry slices. And that is my Eaton Mess cheesecake. All the elements of an Eaton Mess in a cheesecake. 